this is where most tourists who come to Bangkok stay. I really encourage you to look at other parts of Bangkok. Uh, around here, this goes for a couple of blocks in every direction, it's thousands of Westerners and businesses set up to cater to Westerners. Um, so you can come here, don't have to speak any time. It's all fairly easy, but this is sort of like Kuta is to Bali. Um, there's a lot of other parts of Bangkok with a lot, a lot more personality about them. Um, and I wouldn't say there's anything particularly great about this area. It's also really difficult to leave. The Skytrain doesn't come here. The subway doesn't come here. Um, you can walk about 10 minutes and get on a ferry boat. Um, but it's quite difficult to find your way down there. Um, and all that gets you to is a place where you can at least access the train. So you've got to get a boat and a train, which is all kind of awkward. So I suspect most people just don't bother. The only other option is taxis, which are by far the most expensive way to get around Bangkok. Um, so the end result is most people come here and they never leave, which is unfortunate because Bangkok has so much to offer and a lot of people never see any of them. It's a real shame. Okay, it occurred to me that that last video, that little monologue, may have been a little negative. Uh, so I felt like we should point out some of the positives uh, of Kosan Rays. Uh, one, cheap drinks. but it's mostly vodka and cost almost nothing. Um, tours from here can be cheaper than from other parts of Bangkok. Uh, we looked at a dinner cruise that was 1500 baht somewhere else, uh, 950 baht from here. Um, what else? Oh, there's an abundance of like t-shirts and bags and stuff for sale here. So if you've left your shopping to the last minute, you can get it all done in about half an hour along here. If you've been living somewhere where there aren't too many tourists, it is a good place to come and get your Westerner fix. It's not all bad and it's not all good, it's just really easy to stay here, get stuck here and go nowhere else in Bangkok. Bangkok's fantastic, so yeah. So yeah. If it's your first time in Bangkok, maybe consider Koh San, but Otherwise, do try and get out and see some other parts of Bangkok. Because um, there is a lot to see. Silom Road during the day is mostly full of office workers. Uh, there's a whole bunch of office type buildings on the side of it. There is also lots of accommodation though, clothing stores, all sorts really. Um, also, the Sky Train runs down the middle of Silver Road. A couple of stations along here. Makes it very quick and easy to get to pretty much anywhere else in Bangkok. At night, the Silver Road fills up with stalls uh, for miles and miles. Uh, everything clothes, shoes, DVDs, sex toys, whatever you want, pretty much is for sale down here. Still all open. People still around. 